Okay, there we are. Once again, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld show, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. Hasbro Kites, New Jersey, Route 17 South. I'm headed to meet with William H. Morrow III, commercial voiceover specialist and former NFL football quarterback. For more wackiness or God knows what we're going to talk about. Maybe more madness. Who, who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? Well, let me tell you something. No, you tell me. I learned one thing about not only no, you didn't. Eileen, but others. You think you did, but you really didn't. If somebody doesn't, if, if a person doesn't really want to help themselves, huh. it's, there's no point in trying to help them. It could be anybody. They just yes you to death. Uh -huh. yeah. And that's how Eileen is. I don't care how many college, I don't care how many college degrees she has. Uh-huh. That she likes to bring up all the time. Well, it doesn't matter because I just proved that right away yesterday. Yeah. You remember? You remember? Yeah, I told I told what when do you, you remember when you were having a, a now, well, if you remember? if you cannot apply the knowledge that you have learned. Now, what did I tell? What did I do yesterday? I said to the amulet, "It's getting a degree to know intelligence." You said simply no or wisdom. That's all. That my the point's over. You just said no. You see it? Uh, yeah. She said, "I have a degree." I said, "It doesn't matter." Now, why is she a hoarder? If she's so smart. That's the point. It doesn't <laughs> matter. She can't. She has a pen. She can't even find it. And that I can't. <laughs> you were, you're going to find out questions I already know now about uh, Bezos. Yes. Who do you, who even knows if she's going to find the card I gave her to my do doctor? Well, you know what the truth is. <laughs> do you care? Now, no, so because you, because I got hi. hello because because I got her number. That's why. Oh. You need them. You need them. No, I don't mm -hmm. use them. All right, all right. Relax. Don't get excited because you have more napkins. But then again, these napkins don't fall apart when you wipe your mouth. That's why I like them so much. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Knowledge, uh, knowledge that cannot be applied is a wa is a waste. Well, it, I guess it's not really knowledge, then, is it? No. Well, give me an example. Trump, Donald Trump made a statement recently that no one builds walls like he does. He never built a wall. He never built a wall. When was the last time he oh, built a wall? There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's like a, that, that was pretty stupid of him. Napkins, you better get some fantastic uh, all purpose cleaner and a towel. She's getting napkins. She needs disinfectant in this place. That's okay. We're all right, Jimmy. Yeah, right. Go on. Yeah, he, I, I can't think of a single time he built a wall. Well, it doesn't matter because he's a liar. He built the Taj Mahal in Atlantic City, which I think that he had to sell. I think it went bankrupt. It right. doesn't matter. He's a moron. Trump, did so, Trump, did Trump Plaza go bank belly up? Uh, they all did. Anyway, she told me they had lobster rolls at Friendly. Says, how about that? Yeah, they do. Um, well, they do now. Jeff Bezos, Back. the founder of Amazon, is he brilliant or even a genius? No more than just, go ahead. Go ahead. Is he just another example of being lucky? There you go. There you go. Okay. See how you ask questions? No dissection. Right to the point. Does this your answer? Does the same thing that William asked about Jeff Bezos apply to Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook well, William, and, Mark, and, and, and douchebag Bill Gates, no, the founder no, of uh, no, Microsoft? Alright, alright. Um, Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook. 
Is he a brilliant or a genius or just lucky? I think you're asking it wrong. Well, did I ask No, I asked the double question. Oh, yeah, all right, you're Mark Z uh, the big nose uh, uh, Zionist Mark Zuckerberg. Well, can I tell you what to ask? Is he um, a thief? A th is he just flat out a thief? There you go. There you go. You're right, Billy. You You're right. You're a sharp me. cookie. Oh, wait, I gotta ask about Bill Gates. Is Bill Gates was he? Is his success based on um, underhandedness? Well, a fishing trip. No, I heard he stole from a lot of programmers too. Ideas and. Go ahead. Go ahead. Since your since your kindred spirit loves you so much. Did Bill Gates luck out because of the so-called fishing trip? I remember that story. Zuckerberg of Facebook stole from the twins, didn't he? Mm -hmm. You see how you get to a question? You make them long sentence, get right, bam, make the point. Four, it's like PowerPoint presentations, bam. Zuckerberg is not brilliant by any means, is he? Look how fast I want to do it You know, people like Tony Robbins that do seminars, they don't do wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Like, yes, they do. Yes, they do. No, they tell a story. No, but he gets to the points of short sentences. He gets right to it. Wow, she's got a meal there. Look at that. That's right. Tony Robbins gets right to the point with all his lectures, doesn't he? He also rips people off. <laughs> Not as bad so as. So, was your girl last night, Karen? Trump University. Roll. Was that what you had? Mm -hmm. How was it? Mm -hmm. I'm at, like how big? You're kidding me? That big? Whoa! Now, how many did you have? Was there real lobster in it, or was it Pollock? Was it a uh, artificial lobster? Oh, here he goes with the Pollock. What do you think it was? Oh. Uh, you think Karen? it was real? I know real lobster. Did it taste good? Yeah. Yeah, but that's false advertisement. If they say but, lobster roll. You but know. you like it, right? Yeah. Good. Interesting. <laughs> Who's your friend today? I don't know. Who I saw early this morning? Ray. I came up to the house. Oh, God. Is he like you out there again? <laughs> Oh, he's, he's, he's always out there when he's with me around, though. I'm like, uh, I'm like, man. Yeah. So what do you think about football? I said, it hasn't even started, Ray. No, actually, there are. It is starting. Some of the games are starting. Yeah, but when I last saw him, that was three weeks ago. It hadn't started. You mean those poor souls with all that equipment have to practice in hot weather? What do you do? They should get a raise. Oh, God, that I do. Two, two a days. You do two a days. I hope they're unionized, those ball players. Doesn't matter. Yes, it's it tough. does. It's tough. It's hard. These guys. How many guys passed out? That's six. When the owner sticks it to you, you stick it to him even worse. It was rough. It was rough this practice. Mm -hmm. But then we loved it too. Back then. We were in such great shape, it didn't matter. It didn't bother us at all. Oh boy. My entire football career back when I played those 35 seven years. Ice cold or incredibly hot. It never bothered me, did it? Hey. It's called having a passion for something. Well, I had boy, I had players, teammates I had. Oh, God. Hey, my friend, my friend Jeff Zambella was a lieutenant paratrooper, jumped out of a plane. Hey, man, when you ask him why'd you do it, I'm not even sure he knows. I met him here one day. Uh, Secret Service. He said, look. Hold his leg up. A big block. Going around. He said, look at this. Hold his phone up. Show me a photo. It was a guy's house. He was a pharmacist. He hid behind being a pharmacist. He made the primary agent for drugs for the cartels. Oh, wow. And he showed me the photo of one room in this guy's house. 
Wall to wall, over halfway up the walls, $267 million. Wow. In this guy's house. He said, look at this, Billy. I said, whoa. He goes, yeah, that's what I deal with all the time. And he showed me that and the gun. He goes, I'm a secret service agent. I had that happen in New York a number of times when people, I don't know why it's me, maybe my personality, but when my car, I, was, I had a meeting with John DeLorean, who was DeLorean, yeah. the automotive legend in Chelsea. And I went, I said, oh no, the meter doesn't take money, something's wrong. Talking out loud to myself. Oh. And they had a cafe right there, people sitting outside. They said, if it doesn't work, you're fine. Are you sure? And they said, we're undercover. They pulled their badges out. They made great friends just like that. We talked, they got our phone numbers, they called me and the whole bit. So I went over to the meeting. And I look out the window and there's a cop giving me a ticket. I went running out the door and across the street and chose. I told him, no, no. And I told him what happened, blah, blah, blah. They told me if it doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. He goes, he goes I'm sorry. I said, I didn't mean this. He goes, they come by every 20 minutes and they fix these things. He goes, look, I can't avoid the ticket. Take the ticket. Here's my badge number and my name. You put that on it, tell them what happened. And they wrote me back, you are accused. I meet people, he said, don't worry, you're going to be just fine. I said, thanks, because they told me. They told me sitting here that I was okay because it didn't work before. You know, he said, no, 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 you're Isn't that nice? He goes, here's my badge number, here's my name, put that on the ticket, give you a little one or two sentence explanation that it didn't work before, and you're fine. And sure enough, I was. Same when I, ran, oh, I had to run a, a toll booth on the parkway because there was no way to, way to pay. I couldn't pay. And they sent me a bill for $35. And I called the girl and told her what happened. She says, sir, just mail us the 35 cents. I said, can't I just put a, a dollar in and you all keep the change? She goes, we're not allowed. I said, okay. I had never written a check for 35 cents before. Yeah, that's what I had to do. You know, some people with the... Yeah, but she the, said she said 35 cents, don't worry about the $35. Some people just whip the coins into the basket and it, bounce, or it bounces out. How? No. You can't get to the basket. There was a cone there blocking it. No, there was a, there, there was a cone there. there. There was a cone there on the parkway. The other one, the only thing open was one one lane and it was easy pass. I didn't have easy pass. I said, ma'am, if you look at your video, if you have one, you saw me reaching out with my money. You saw me reaching for the I said, you saw me reaching for the envelope. It was all rusted, no envelopes. I tried everything. What else could I have done? She goes, sir, you just mailed us 35 cents. Well, they didn't take care of it. They had the cone blocked off. They had no envelopes. It was only easy pass was open. What are you supposed to do? You know, you know, no choice. I had no choice. I said, ma'am, what else was I supposed to do? I can't sit there all day and night. And she said, no, no, just mail us 35 cents. Forget the $35. And that was done too. So, you know, it's how you talk to people. I mean, it's nice the way they maintain these toll roads. No, they, they don't, really... they don't, they don't. I mean, did you go to State Parkway? Look at this coming in the hotel. There's a pothole out there, Karen, it's about this deep. Going into the hotel. It's bad. And I had the cart, there's one out here, too. I had my cart ran over, I was trying to get it out of the They don't, they don't, they don't fill them up. So I had, you know, for the... You ever see how long it takes for them to, to, to do, do road work? They, they milk do it. it. They, they milk it on it. purpose. No, they don't. They've got machines that do it fast. It takes them forever to get out there to do it. Right. They're everywhere else, but once they get there, it takes a few minutes. So what's the problem? Get out there. You've got these high-tech trucks that pour it right in. They seal it over and it's done. Do it. It's a lot cheaper paying these guys than it is paying for somebody's busted tire or rim or whatever. Why do they always do road work during peak hours and never like a graveyard shift? They do. When the traffic they do. is they low. They do. They do it at night too. They do it at night. They do it all over the time. You never see guys filling potholes in the daytime much. Nah. Not much. You can't. With today's traffic, but it's insane with these people. If you talk to people nice, they usually bend over backwards for you. You know, I've, I've never had problems with them. 
except judges. So. Oh, oh God. My 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 friend uh, Rick, when he divorced his um, first his first wife, the judge said half with the gavel. Bang. It's like. Half of his pension, he had a 40 year pension when he, from a union job. Do the vast majority. Give it to his ex wife. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of judges in today's legal system, do they deserve any of the power that they're given? <laughs> there you go, see? What do they call that? Community property in California? I don't know. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's wrong. Well, you get half, right? You get That's half. Wrong. Yeah. It's community property where a husband and a wife and the divorces split down the middle. Is that a cold world of bullshit? There you go again. See how quick? Hey, even child support is too high. Hey, look how quick. I don't know. That's disputable. Who deserves what and how much? How much does a kid eat? I doubt it. If they eat that much. I mean, the clothing, I, I, it can't be that expensive. I heard of a woman's lawyer to try to get $180 a week for one gir little girl. Come on. Well, $180 a week compared to some of these guys getting milk for millions. You can't tell me that kid eats that much a week or buys that much clothing in one month. No, I hate to say it, but the, judi the judicial system favors the female over the male. Well, no, I just said it. It's yeah. extremely unbalanced. Right. Yeah. Is oh. the, United States the United States judicial system... A total load of crap and bullshit. There you go. Bam. Right to the point. Oh, should always be unbiased and call it straight down no, the middle. No, no, they don't. They're not. They're not. Like an umpire in Major League Baseball. Oh, please. The mistakes they make? What do you mean like an umpire? These guys are blind. That's what they say. What, are you, what game are you watching? I mean, you know, the ball was over my head and you're calling a strike? Come on. No wonder why Earl Weaver used to get, and no, Billy Billy Martin used to get so pissed off. Some of these umpires, you wonder what they're looking at. Well, replay, why is it overruled nine times out of ten? They blew it. But you know what they have now? It's so cool. They show you how many miles per hour the pitch is coming in. Well. It, it, like on the screen as you're watching well, the game. miles per hour. The point is, it really wasn't yeah. over the plate. And yeah, but they, I mean, they don't interpret the book. The rule book states a, a, a strike is from the armpits right. down to the knees, and you see it around right. mid torso, and they yeah. say it's too high. But they have, of it. but now they show the laser scan of the strike zone. You know, but, but still, it's it's cool. Mid torso, and they're calling a ball. Are you out of your mind? It's supposed to go to the armpits. It says it right in their rule book. So you guys are out of your minds. Now I watched the other night, I, and the, the NFL has got to get with the Canadian Football League to change. I've, I've, I've bitched years that we've got to widen the field. Canadian football field is 12 yards wider. Their end zone is 25 yards. That's going to spread everything out. Receivers have more room to run. Defenders not to earn their money in coverages. They're spread out more. Wow. And now 25 yards in the end zone compared to what we've got in the NFL. But the, the NFL will hey, Look how many years it took them to adopt a two-point conversion. Over 10, 15 years when college had it already. And they still have this stupid rule and nobody can argue with me. Why do I have to be inbounds twice? I said, what do you mean? I said, well, my left oh, foot dear. hits inbounds. Now I've got to be inbounds a second time with the other foot. Why? Inbounds is inbound. I've got to do it twice. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Again, it goes back to my dad. You can't get through to people. Most of life is common sense, you know? Not for the NFL. They've got the biggest wishy-washy commissioner in sports. He's not worth a damn. He's a puppet. He's got all these little strings hanging off of him. It's a moron. Yeah, why does the... Fidel... Yeah, like like with baseball, why does the National League not have the designated hitter? They are. They're getting it finally, but it should have been done years ago. Yeah, it's better for the pitcher. But they do have it. They do have it when they play in the American League parks. Oh. But And that's wrong. It should be every game. When, when you think of how many times the poor pitcher puts wear and tear on his shoulder joint and his elbow, he should not have to go to bat and run. You know what I mean? It's like, well, you're also you're also getting almost a sure out because you're getting a pitcher who's an every fourth, fifth day player. Yeah. A guy that plays every day, you want to DH up there, it's an everyday slugger. You're yeah. not even listening, you're stuck in your yeah. face. 
Yeah, like 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 a man who normally it's a slugger, yeah. would retire. Let's say uh, the guy that's know, doing the it eugenics commission. Thing, but but he, to, it, it just doesn't make sense. It's and just, then again, you're you're punishing an American League team when they play in a national park. Now you can't use what you play with every day, and you have to have pitchers yeah. bit that pitch hitting now. They've never hit before. So where does any of yeah. this make sense? Who's that, who's that guy that does the commercials? Frank Thomas? Yeah, for New Gen, New Gen, New Gen. New Gen. Well, why yeah. can't he? He can designate a hit for any team. I know he did. Why? What's your point? The point is, he looks like he's in fantastic shape. Well, that looks like, but can you produce? Hey, a lot of guys look like. Can you play? Yeah. Well, David Ortiz. Like I said, we had a lot of uh, pro wrestlers try out. Not one could make our yeah. team. David Ortiz. thought we were out of our minds. Da David Ortiz, Big Poppy, uh, he retired for a reason. Maybe there was a reason. Yeah, he got tired. He just got tired. You had a 24-year-old kid. Played two years in the NFL. Retired this week. Jeez. He said, I'm not going to tr push my, my luck with my brain with concussions. Hey, how is that, that supposed phenom, uh, 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 Bryce uh, Harper, doing? Okay. Because when he when they picked him up, he was hitting home runs like him. Yeah, he's doing okay. He's doing yeah, not like he did when he when they when they none discovered. Of them, him. None of them do, and none of them are worth the money they get. It's ridiculous. They just don't deserve it. Yeah, he was hitting record length home runs. And, you know. Do any of these baseball? <laughs> do any of these baseball players in the major leagues? Are they really deserving of the, the huge amounts of money that they're, they're receiving right now? No. They really aren't producing very well, are they? No. Baseball's the only sport where you get paid for failure. Think about it. <laughs> You're right about that. Yeah, when you think of the average salary of a, of no, a no, ma no. Ma major league the baseball. Average. You're getting paid. A great hitter goes over 501. You've never had anybody in history hit 501. Anything under that is failure. They should get commission. They're all getting paid to fail. Based on merit, they should get. They had they had mathematicians on one night say they're paid for failure. They're all if they're lucky hitting in the 300. Most of them are 200s or 100s. So to be successful is 501. And none of them do. They don't get it. Yeah. They don't get it. I mean, how many Stan Musials and... Uh, they never did. No. And uh, never, No, um, no. They never did. Um, uh, Ted Williams are there today. Is baseball the only sport where you are mathematically paid for failure? <laughs> Interesting. No. You know, the last old school ball player but must... To okay. be successful, you must hit at least 501. Am I correct? That depresses me, knowing how old I am. Oh, let me ask you a question. Do you think the last old school baseball player was Cal Ripken Jr.? Old school meaning what though? No juice, no anabolic steroids, all natural, great, consistent player, well, I great, know. consistent player. I don't know what player. every guy does or doesn't do. I don't know what they do or don't do. Well, he wasn't jacked, is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. For that matter, Alex Rodriguez was not jacked. He didn't have the square jaw and the big muscle. No, but they found they found it in his blood. Uh, but they said they found it. I think he was shafted because he does not have the appearance of a guy using juice. No, maybe it was some yeah. kind of a growth hormone. Or Sammy Sosa was was found. Well, his uh, whole face and body structure changed. That's a different story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mark McGuire, that changed. You know, but there you saw no change in. Uh, in, in Alex Rodriguez, I, yeah, nah, yeah, he I didn't have that moon face. I thought he was screwed, so I don't know. You know the the long jaw, that's growth hormone, that's GH. So the unfortunate thing is your organs and bones continue growing. What'd you have just now? Uh, I had a quarter pound of cheese. Uh, you having another one? No. Yeah. You know that that lobster roll might have been real. Salad. You know I, why? I, could be, I, I got a side salad. salad for what if the side salad's in the middle of your tray? Are they still call it a side salad? Yeah. How big? How big was the lobster roll? Was it good, good size? Yeah, it's about, about as long as this, this way, like this. Damn. Yeah. 
I met a couple guys over here from Louisiana. They're up here working. They built up the big fire trucks. They're showing me and showing me photos of them of all their cook, cookouts in their backyards and stuff and their gumbos and, oh, and all the po' boys they make. I said, oh my God. Crawfish etouffee. I had said, that They said, time. this stuff is so good. I they love They got the southern accents. And the one guy I know, I was talking to him again this morning, he's 43, looks like a kid. He's already a grandfather. I said, I said yeah, he goes, Billy, look, it's my grand... I said, you're a grandfather at 43 with you. You know, it'd be yeah. funny, a fire truck set on fire. They built, they built the big... Or, or a flatbed being towed by another flatbed. He says, he says some of these are uh, one and a half to two million dollars or more. Oh, big, big money. Oh, he said, so they're expensive. Anyway, you're uh, taking these napkins Thank you. No, no, napkins are fine. Napkins are not fine. fanatic, man. He's no, going, he's, 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 he's in his glory. Look at the napkins. It's because they're heavy duty, they're they're robust. I'm, I'm going to take these back. Excuse me, come over here, hey, please. Shh. What are you, a corp what are you, a corporate man? See what I mean? He's fanatic. He loves napkins. No, I like I like not buying any. <laughs> Guys, don't fear him. He's really not. I'll keep him under control, okay? I have a whole collection. I never have to buy napkins I have a collection again. of napkins. Oh. Well, I use them, don't I? <laughs> does, uh, does one use toilet paper, of no, course? No, I don't. I don't believe in toilet paper. What do you like? The, what do the Indians use? They use Their leaves? hand or leaves or something. I don't <laughs> hey, know. Uh, hey, a piece of wood, right? Yeah, Indians had two ply back then. <laughs> you love your napkins, man. I love not spending money. I know, I know that. That's why I got the dollar seven coffee here, brother. Is that the reason that you you won't spend a few dollars to get something you really I don't like? eat I don't eat this toxic crap. You oh can... I know you're health conscious. Jesus. Boy, I meet some great people though. Oh. You should be getting an important call tomorrow, I hope to God. We'll see. Right <laughs> well, if you don't get the call tomorrow, okay. I hope down the road that you have litigation against John Gabriel. So do I. I'd like to make them pay and hurt. Because I bet when you when you think about him, you think about the guy in Ridgewood. I know. I try you not to get really riled. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a cigarette. Well, I'm riled and I'm not even in I your know. situation. I'll be right back. I'm riled for you. I'm going to have a cigarette. I'll be right back. No, I'll join you. See the paper I left from this morning? After 6 o'clock, it's still here, it's still here. It's all the time. Well, it only makes sense. I mean, you read it, it's today's paper, and you leave it. And then somebody else you reads it. You tell most people who you watch when they throw their paper out. I say, why don't you leave it? It's a paper. Let others enjoy it. Right. Yeah. Today's paper is good until 11:59 no, p.m. You can't get through the people. They don't want to leave for. Uh, they don't think of others. They throw it out because I'm through with it. You're absolutely. They right. don't realize others want to do it. So I leave papers. I'm the only one. And you see the paper still here. It's been at different tables all day long. Karen will tell you. She's numerous people. Here. Right, but Karen smart. Hey, look, look at it. Yeah, but there's but, not much there anymore. But, but, no. Oh, no. oh. People have taken parts out of it already. That's good. That's what, it's there for you. Take it. Yeah. But the headline news basically is, could, is good all day. No. The sports, the headline news. Then they got, usually they got, generally, thanks to you, CNN usually gets No, good. no more. Than, it's NBC. I don't have cable. Boy, it's hot. All the young boys of Alice. <laughs> Can you imagine people, and uh, my friend was telling me about, um, he's in New Orleans. He says Houston, New Orleans, Corpus Christi, Galveston, Tampa, it's all the same. It's humid as hell. Around the Gulf. Around the Gulf. He says, You guys think you have humidity? If you, if you're in the other part of Texas, towards New Mexico or Waco or you know, uh, I guess even um, um, El Paso, you wear the Western boots. It's not so bad because it's usually dry, right? Those parts of Texas that are far from the Gulf. 
San Antonio is by Austin, right? Seventy miles. Yeah. I saw what the Alamo looks like. They got all these modern buildings around around the Alamo. Right in the middle of the <laughs> Yeah. Santa Ana, I think, was the Mexican. You probably know more than me. Mexican general or president or Santa Ana. Well, this, should, man, this weather sucks. Mm. Only the girls today. Yeah, right. Uh, well, you heard what I told her. This is the only, the only time I'm giving. Call my doc. She, she don't do anything you tell her. She will not do I bet on that. She is somebody who can't throw away junk. A hoarder has got to be a real sick puppy. Well, I, Jimmy, we already said, does she have severe mental, psychological issues? So, yeah. Well, they should be institutionalized. She blamed her brother on stealing her money. Yeah. Did he steal her money? He said no. She doesn't mention that at all anymore. I shut her right up on a lot of things. She borrows a pencil and she's got a pen in her purse the whole time? Our, our friend down here at McDonald's, Eileen. Does she make up an awful lot of stories? <laughs> no, she's a sick puppy. Does she have any clue whatsoever as to what's going on? Oh my god. There you go. Yeah. The fact that she hangs onto her purse so tightly. Well, then, then she doesn't. She does. She doesn't. Right. She leaves it when, when we tease her about it. Yeah. She's expecting an important phone call, but she has to run home to get it, and, and she doesn't get it. Yeah. She, she I told her, I said, why do you even bother having a phone there? This, this doesn't make sense. That's why this I think... I stole it from there. Then she told me originally she stole it here. Could you imagine how tough it is to be a shrink? I know they get paid a lot of money. Did a, did a, did a heroin addict steal Eileen's phone from here, the McDonald's right here where we are? Did this heroin addict that Eileen mentioned, did he steal her phone from her apartment? Is this just another part of Eileen's imagination running wild? Oh boy. Delusional as they come. There you go. Phone was, was Eileen's phone truly ever stolen? Never was. Never was stolen. Our our hoarders, our hoarders, just downright sick bastards that need to be put away. Oh, that's a stupid question. Jimmy. Yeah, put them away because they're freaks. Like even like evangelicals. Are even are evangelicals uh, more screwed up than people think? You know, those, re those religious about, fanatics. Question about you, about anger no, hoarders are much worse than. Yeah, the way you word it, like you're angry, Jimmy. Come on. Man. No, when somebody blows uh, you off, like a relative or a friend. So what? All right. Does okay. Jimmy need help with anger management? What about napkins? Well, Jimmy said. Yeah. People that afford, he said they should be put away. Is that true? No. So what did you say? What about what? I was thinking about hoarding. Not not for myself, but that hoarders um, keep things that are junk, that are not yeah. important. Yeah. Um, yeah, basically that's what a hoarder does. Well, you're going to ask the question. Um, oh. 
No, nah, because I gotta think. Let me think about one that's more I'm important. You think? I'm waiting. Yeah. I... Oh gosh. Um. How about you? Oh, oh, oh. With on with online dating, are there a lot of people that misrepresent themselves on their profile? You already know that. Yeah, I know. I I know. I do. They fake fake photos. You, I mean, you're asking the obvious. You know what the answer is going to be? It's going to be yes. With online dating, the vast majority of those on the websites totally misrepresent themselves. <laughs> and you know it's 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 way beyond putting on their face with makeup it's gone beyond that they you know what they do i don't care what they do they photoshop their photos it's they just, fake it's just bullshit. they fake but people photos. like you buy into it yeah but yeah but how could you meet how do you meet enough women in close proximity to your region how did how do you do it how do we used to do it go out <laughs> <laughs> I can't again. I can't get through to people. Yeah, but you go out. You're, nah, it's you are limiting yourself to go a certain out extent. And, don't, and you're expanding your horizons by going on a computer with fakes. Stop it. Nah, fakes are bad. You're, you're not. You get enough cases. You've got Craigslist where a number of murderers have been committed. You're leaving yourself wide open to scams. It's just not healthy or wise. You know there are a lot of a lot of scammers from like let's say Ghana, Africa that have fake profiles I on the end. I'm yeah. trying to tell you, I've known all that. I keep telling you all, like back to that. I can't get through. Yeah, but your dad was already married to, to your mom. The bottom line is he saw what's going on as after that what he was looking for, it's what he saw with society. But see, again, you missed the point. He saw, he was telling people, telling dumb people, you yeah. gotta watch out, you gotta be careful with this. They, they took a poll, and you know, millennials actually said they'd rather text people than talk to them face to face, isn't that? Most people are weak and cowardly. Most people are not good speakers. I've always told people that too. They've lost the ability to communicate. They're big and brave on the type To your face, they would never say it because well, they're cowards. Well, not, ju not just like being instigators. I mean like just basic communication with other human well, beings. Black I mean, the first one right there. Oh, okay. Well, they all want some of this. That's obvious. Sorry, girls. I'm... But what, what it comes down to is the man is going to find out about the real woman anyway, eventually. What are you getting at? Why do you care? No, what I'm just saying, what do they think they're gaining by falsifying? Yeah, so what do you, you know, why do you even care? It's just stupid to even do. Even makeup could be a, a form of falsification. It's stupid to even do. I, I would never go on a computer or a website or whatever to meet somebody. No chance. Unfortunately, people purchase things online now. They Are you do. an absolute fool if you go on the websites to meet someone? <laughs> Am I anybody's fool? Ah, uh, your man got <laughs> The nickname I've had for a number of years, you already know, is Man God. Is that a good nickname? It sounds damn good. <laughs> They're already swaying. There you go. I was going to ask you something. Oh, back in the 1980s, there was an article by, at the time, a famous psychologist. He even talked against... He even talked against the personal ads that people used to put in the pa in, the, in the magazine, well, they the were paper. Lies too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, <laughs> it all comes back to my dad, doesn't it? You can't get through. But yeah, your dad was. You know what's right, But your dad was married already. He wasn't out searching. But he saw how desperate the human being is. That's the point I'm trying to make. Oh, you keep saying my dad was didn't need to look. That's not the point. 
he saw people are now sick and desperate they are to meet somebody. What is your hurry to meet somebody? Right. Well, that's the point. To get kind of color, kind of get laid, you know. Oh, that's called desperation too. Okay. You're overly eager. You're trying too hard. Um, and it's not going to happen. And what you do get it with is not going to be worth a damn anyway. All right. So there's where that right. goes. What do you think, Karen? Lobster roll. I don't know. Life in general. How are you? <laughs> Go ahead, Julie. What are you asking? When the wait, wait, wait. No, okay. Show the hand All right. When the singer share was on when the singer share was on the David Letterman show, she says when I ask somebody how they are, I really want them to tell me. Is that good? Okay. It's called being an honest person, I guess. Well, it's a simple, basic, sincere question. How right. are you? But most people, do they really want to know how you are? Of course not. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, well we kind of knew that. <laughs> You're asking so many obvious people. Get more in-depth questions. Well, it's, it needs it's like a car carburetor needs to get warmed get, up. Get nice and low. All right, yeah. let me think. Let me think of something good. Yeah, you gotta have something more detailed. <laughs> so what me and William were discussing before, even singles that used to use the personal ads back in the day, were they falsifying themselves too? Okay. Oh. I noticed that the uh, young generation um, dresses like prostitutes. Are they asking for trouble by dressing like that? Yes. Yeah, the style. They just like like hookers. Yes, you yes. Got the dice check that I got the answer. Yes. No, I'm not talking. I'm talking to myself. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Dissection. Shit, now I forgot what oh, it was. Ahead. God damn it. No, take your time. That's why I had to try real fast. Most girls today, other times too, do they really love their boyfriend or spouse all that much? Kind of, kind of figured that out. Does uncon, does real unconditional love exist? Yeah, sure, of course it does. Does real unconditional love exist? These are things I already know. To me. The bottom line is, most people, guys and girls included, are pretty damn boring, aren't they? Why? Hmm. I think a lot of couples tolerate each other. Most people just really don't know how to get along all that well, do they? There you go. Most people really are not good conversationalists, are they? You know what? Amulets make it a lot of sense. It always does, Jimmy. So do I. I ask the question to verify. Uh, People talk too much, get to the point, things like that. Right. Well, yeah, it's just that, you know, like, not. People talk too much. I mean, people talk too much. They and, really do. And, and, you, and you definitely. How about um? How and about how about music? And you definitely finish your sentence. How about music? Go finish your sentence. And you definitely. No, I was going to talk about uh, online dating, but I think I don't think I you don't really want to hear about it. I, I, it's stupid. It's, yeah. It's just the plain dust. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they they. they online dating. Let's get to the point. Right. End it. Fake. Is yeah. online dating a smart thing to do? Basically, I appreciate the push the pressure you are putting on
Is an online thing you primarily for people with no personality and who are desperate? Oh, uh, here's one. Do too many people that are single and looking, do they play games today? You know, like like they're not really serious. They say they're serious. That's, all, that's always been done. That's not just today. You said today. It's always been done. Well, yeah, but people hooked up in the 60s and 70s, left and right, Billy. Yeah, they had different conversations. They, they communicated. They weren't sitting there with, with the thumbs on a goddamn phone either. You're right about that. It's a whole that. different era. You had to talk. You had no choice. Yeah. Today, they hide behind electronics. We didn't even Two have remotes. People months. today hide behind the electronics gimmicks too much. And, and you hit the nail on the head earlier when you said they're cowards. It's cowardly. They had to talk. Why do you think most guys in the bar? You know how many guys, how many people, guys came up to me in clubs and said, I don't want you to meet my girlfriend? Or I don't want you to meet my wife? I'm not going to take them from you. They're that insecure. Uh, yes. I said I would never think of doing that. I had never had a problem with a you date. you know how many girls... How many times Terry and I were standing with my arm around Terry, and she reached in front of me the bar, and I was like, whoa, what are you what happened? The girl was going right for my crotch, and here's my arm around my girlfriend. Even Terry though she was there. How about that? Yeah. It happened a number of times. That's how people are. Wow, she must have been, uh, I don't Most know. Most people, the vast majority of the human race lack truly great social graces. That's why I had guys come up to me in the players' club and the shirt and say, "Sir, I'm not. I just want you. I'm not gay." But a lot of people talk about you. You don't like these other assholes in here. You're smooth. You're smooth. You're not like others. No, you're not like us. I said, "Well, thank you very much." I said, "I appreciate you." That. You know, if if Andrew Anderson hooked you up as a pro wrestling manager, you know, what would be the perfect spandex tights for you. Martini glasses on the sides. Yes, so. Am I like most people? It's a good great question. Am I like most am I like most people? Now watch the stop itself. Is that good? There you go. I like your way of stopping it without touching it. That's all you gotta do. No, you have that one handed That's all you gotta do, right there. Okay. Damn. Most people, my dad was always right, wasn't he? You can't get through the people, can you? No, I think you've said that a thousand and one I times. Always, I'll say it two thousand and more times, and when everybody makes stupid statements, I'm second choice. Come right back to that. You can't get through the people. I can't get through you. All right, listen, listen, listen. I hope you, I really hope to God you get back in your apartment. Well, 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 you know time, what I mean? I don't need to keep talking about it. Yeah, I know, but. I you, will. You get to where we just get tired and tired. Yeah. Well, technically, you don't have to be in your apartment for us to do Gabriel's, you know. Well, uh, I know the rules. Yes, I know. It's hard to reach people. Yeah. You know. It's hard to reach people. I mean, it's, it's, it's boring to, like, go somewhere by yourself all the time. It's nice to have... That's somebody nice. you know with you. It's nice to be alone, boy. No, I mean, if you're in a social situation. Oh, I, sometimes I like to go to a bar and nobody bothers me. Somebody always wants to talk. Like, God, please let me be alone. Well, don't forget, a lot of these people are transients, you know, they're... It doesn't matter where they're from. People always want to talk. I like to be alone sometimes. <laughs> And like Sal, too. He couldn't shut up. Well, that was another story. He wanted to come over yeah, late. Yeah, no, that's you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, say this, Billy. Say this, Billy. Say that. <laughs> Great, Billy. I'm like, oh, Sal, let me rest. Please, yeah. Sal. You know, he always wanted me to be on with my voice. Leave me alone. I want to relax. Yeah, yeah. He wanted he wanted you to do like say this, say that, say that. I'm like, God, but, just let me sit. He was please. infatuated with your voiceover ability. Oh, you drove me nuts. No, I mean, I mean, I don't. There's nothing wrong with going there, having ordering fried calamari and having no, a couple I'm, of beers. I know. I'm, not, I'm talking about Salvatore. Salvatore. Yeah. He drove me nuts. Yeah, because the new guy I met. Uh, 
Mo the other day. Mo. Stop talking so much. You don't need to. Yeah, I think Sal was, he meant well, whereas he wanted you to get hooked up with an agency and really hit it big. Oh, he meant to, well. Uh, but I, I know, I, I know. Be left alone. Yeah. How the hell are you going to go into the city and... and, and I just wanted to be a friend. I didn't want to talk that. I don't think people talk that much. Yeah. Do you, uh, this fact about you being alone and hearing silence, do you think it has it has become an obsession with no, you? I don't hear silence. I like to be alone. I didn't say hearing silence. Oh, okay. okay. You said that, see? <laughs> but, 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 but Sal, he just went on and on. Talking about Rocky Marciano, yeah. Oh, Sal. Well, I used to like it. I said, let's talk football. Well, that ain't got He didn't know what to do. Yeah, you but know? he's supposed to be an athlete. Why can't he talk about not football? an athlete? What did he play? You know, he talks about boxing so much. There's a boxing gym right by Panera Bread. I said, why don't you join it? Ah, bah, bah, bah. I'm too old, he says. I'm, I'm 40. I'm over 40. He sold all of his, uh, his uh, lifting equipment. And what does he do now? Nothing, really. As of the last time I saw him, which has been over a year. Oh, that, that's weird. He was such a fanatic about oh, it. Oh, I mean, my gym looks like the old school. I love it, the guard you not love it. Yeah, but now he doesn't have it. I said, well, that's good, Sal. But you don't have to keep telling me about it. Why did he keep repeating it? I said, I don't need to. I know what it looks like. I know, I know. I don't keep shoving it down my in my face. That's just, that's almost as crazy as Eileen saying she has a pen in her purse and she never looks for it. Uh, that, this I mean, is uh, what's out there. Man, it is so people that like yak. No, people, I'm talking they have about. This and they, do. they don't have this and they do. I'm talking about people that don't use the brain cells that. That's my point. This is, like I said, this is what's out there. They, they, they don't know when to shut up. They, they say things that aren't true. And it drives me nuts. I right. tell them, please shut up. Well, now we have a great example with Donald Trump, right? Mm. He, yeah. set, he sets a wonderful example. These people are just nuts. It's just, uh, you, sh you should get yourself a cheap pair of Walmart bathing trunks and jump in a pool, man, I and know. cool off. I should. I should. I should do a lot of things too. Right? Even if it's like $5, I like just get any old freaking. You know, get the cheapest bathing suit you can find. You should just go in naked. Nobody cares. Do they officially close their pool at a certain time? Yeah, nine, I think it's 9 to 9. Oh, so a couple can't really sneak in and go skinny dipping at well, 2 o'clock in the morning. I bet you could. You could walk out. I'm... Oh, you mean the lights are off. Ah, uh, I got it. Well, we had a naked guy the other day just walking through the place of those days. No, no, I mean an actual couple fooling around at like 3 o'clock in the morning in the pool. It could be done, though. You gotta be slick about it. Yeah. Unless they got security walking up and down the. Uh, Remember how Sal wouldn't even. I didn't mean, go all the way to Long Island to the club. I said, why do you keep going all the oh, way yeah. to Long Island all the time? And then he tell me about girls that live in Long, Long Island. I says, wait a minute, you're gonna pay a toll to go over to GW Bridge. And he lies to them. I forget what it was. He says he lives out there. But no, something. I said, but if you ever take one back to your place, they know you're lying immediately. Why are you doing this? I says, do you realize how much it costs for you to go out but there? But why are you lying? Right, exactly. Why lie? They're going to find out. Let's go back to your place. But you said you lived out here. What are you going to do? And you know what? Stop uh, once you, Stop once a man lies at the beginning, a woman notices that. A guy notices when a woman lies at the beginning, too. Come on, we're not that yeah. dumb. Well, well one time I, I lied about my age, I got yelled at. Well, that is stupid. Why would you because lie? Because women about lie about their age for decades. Are you, what are you, a woman then? No, I, so I, what's your point? I made myself younger. Why? So I could date younger people? <laughs> why? Because they look better? Girls I don't. really don't care. She doesn't mean a damn thing, be honest. All right. Don't lie. Yeah. Oh, it's Why? only it's only age. Only. Then the next lie is going to be it's only this. It's only that. It's only... Tell the truth. I never lied. 
How old are you? I'm 62. I'm doing this or whatever. Okay, all right. Why do people have to lie? I guess, I guess. Again, you're right. I'm you're, right. You all you're right. Again. You're right. But some, but, but some, but some people do age discriminate in the United States, unfortunately. That's not my problem. Yeah. yeah they've got a problem then. Okay. Not, you know, you ask me my age, I'll tell you right away. All right. So, be honest. Do you have enough? Napkins? I think we'll turn those back in. Now I'm going to turn them right into. How are you? I'm going to turn them right into my to my where I live. That's where I'm going to turn them in. Oh my God! This has been a Mega Life Twenty One production.